Hello, it's Kerry here. Welcome to week 12 of the Art Journal Prompts. I'm going to shuffle up these cards and deal out three that will hopefully help me make a prompt. I'm hoping this is going to be a quick one this week because I'm very behind with my videos. Crack them in half. Shall I zoom in a little bit? Let's zoom in a little bit. I was going the wrong way. Let's try it. Oh, I went the right way. Hurrah. Right. Let's deal three cards. The walls will not meet your needs. Oh, the bee and the spiral. I love that one. That's from one of my really early ones. Uh, make time for creativity. It says, right. Okay. Yes, it would be nice to make some time for creativity. Right, what shall I go with? I see the colours as being quite a pale purple, bit of blue, bit of turquoise, bit of pink. So I think we'll go down those colours. I'm definitely going to have to put a bee in somewhere. Oh, I've got my bee stencils. So I can have some fun with that, maybe. There's a bit of lace. I might incorporate that. And the words, I think, definitely will... Because this week has been quite tough. I'm going to use the words make time for creativity because I have found that difficult this week to make time for creativity for myself. Oops, let's try and get them in the centre. Sorry about that. There we go. Right, so I'm going to get my usual journal out. I've got many pages already covered in paint, so hopefully I'll be able to find one that's already started. So I'll be back with all the paints and everything in a moment. So I found this page, which I think quite matches the B one, the purples. I basically, hmm, can't remember quite what I did. I think I put down some black on the edges. Then I think I went over with white with the oval stencil I've got. Mm, then I put the purple down and then I think I went over with white again with this rose stencil which I'm sorry I can't sell in my shop because it's a bit of a copy of somebody else's so it's not my own design. Um, I've got out, ooh, I've got this stencil which is a commercial stencil, it's not one of mine, Honeycomb and I quite like the thought of doing gold in homage to p and Artist Studios. They're doing their Going for Gold a hop this weekend. Well, I think it's tonight, actually. Oh, I'm recording this on Saturday, so this is probably coming out on Sunday. So, yes, they've got their hop going this weekend. So go along and see that. But um, I fancy a bit of gold. Gold on purple, yum, yum, yum. So, yes, so um, I'm missing out this week, this month. But never mind. I can't do everything. Um... Right, now the card that I really am drawn to, very much drawn to, obviously because of the bee, it's also got a spiral on it. Now, I've got a spirula which I made. Can't blinking well find it. Otherwise I would have done another spiral. But I've got my Triskelly stencil, which has got lots of little spirals on, so I might do something with that. So I don't know if I'm going to go overboard with too much patterning, or I could just simplify it and just do the single spiral with the bee. I don't know. Right, so yes, I think I'm not going to go mad with stencils because I think we've already got enough layers of stencils on and I'm going to come in with the honeycomb one. Quite tempted to go do something with the circle. Oh, I love that one. Oh, and here's my bees. Here's my bee stencil and that had gold on. Mm -hmm. I love my bees, but I've already stenciled them onto this tissue paper. That was from my local far uh, local pharmacy, or the big pharmacy here in the UK called Boots, and they do um, makeup range called Number Seven. And I bought some makeup from them, and they wrapped it all up in this lovely tissue and put it in a cute little bag and everything. Oh, so the tissue is going to be. I'm quite tempted to use some of the bees from this. So that's going to go down. I'm quite certain, unless I just go straight on with bees. I do consider using my SMIC writing as well. <laughs> As well as my favourite mark making ones, or my shorthand. I do love my mark making ones a lot. Do I need any? I don't think I need any more mark making, do I? Okay, so get it, get it together, Carrie. We can't use all your stencils. Tempting as it is. Could do something with bees, or something with this spiral, so. And the colours again, let's go back to the colours. Um, there's a bit of pink in this one. It's mostly blue and purples here. But I could do the spiral in pink and then put a bee on top, maybe. Let's try that and see. If I don't like it, I can do something else, can't I? Talking about bees, this morning I got up and in my bathroom, 
on the windowsill was a very large bean and the window hadn't been open but it's been too cold to have windows open I don't know where that was hibernating somewhere in the bathroom I'm, I've got a theory it might have been I've got some um, like um, an air vent thing I think it might have been in there but I let it out because although it was early and still fairly cold it, the sun had come out and I thought well other bees are out and about now so I thought he could enjoy a bit of sunshine get some pollen because next door's bushes have got some little plants on the bees are going wild over there little bee Let's see if you can look Let's imagine this now Having that there and then that on top right I'm going to put down some honey or oh, do I put the honeycomb afterwards I don't always like this honeycomb one because what I don't like about it is it's the bits in between that show up and I would rather it was the actual lines I'm going to have to design one of my own where it's more of the lines but of course you have to be careful with the stencil because you need gaps to join them so it takes a bit of fiddling, fiddling working out basically I might have to go over this twice because it's quite watery this paint Just do it gently there, I don't want it to fade out gradually See, you can't see it too well. I'm going to do a little bit up here. I have the larger ones. Yes, I think I'm going to get a better quality gold next time. The System 3 is very watery. I might have to go for a better brand. I mean, mostly I'm quite happy with System 3. But I haven't been too happy with the metallics. The rest of the paints I love. The rest of their acrylics I love. Right. Okay, that's nice. I prefer the larger one on this. And I do love the gold against the purple, I must say. I'll put it a little bit up here as well. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. So I must apologise for being a bit late with the video. I've had such a busy week, such a busy week. It's the wonder I'm actually managing to talk. I'm like exhausted. But anyway, <laughs> now how are we going to do this? Let's go to this for inspiration. Oh, I was going to do it in pink, was I? Was I going to do it in pink? What about an orange? Hmm. Pink or orange? Oh, where are my paints? I could do a pinky orange, couldn't I? Mm-hmm, mix the two together. Actually, orange goes too much with the gold, so I think what we'll do is we'll just have the pink. This is just magenta. I don't want a huge amount of it. trouble with the magenta is lovely colour as it is it's quite transparent and the opaque gouache has given it some opacity now so we can actually see it don't want to do that elsewhere tell me what you think so I'm going to pop him there <laughs> see if it's flying off it's gone <laughs> Should we have another one coming in, going out, down here, just to balance it. Sorry about the traffic noises. It's been very loud today. I've changed the way I've got my microphone set up, so I'm hoping it doesn't pick it up quite so badly. But it's been awful just lately. 
today is such a nice glorious sunny day all the farmers are out so they I keep seeing having heavy tractors and things going past right so I'm going to glue him down there like that and I'm going to use PVA glue if I can find it yes here it is just a little bit of PVA glue Hope your weekend is good. Mine started off a bit later than I should have done really. I woke up, then I went back to bed to read for a little bit, then I accidentally fell asleep. <laughs> I'm ever so tired at the moment. Right. There's my little bee, you'll see him better once the uh, PVA glue dries. I'm going to give it a blast with a hairdryer, I think. Okay, I found this cluster and I quite like it because it's got a bit of a butterfly on it and this has got a bit of butterfly in it there. So I'm going to pop that there, I think. I quite like it. It's also got some stitching on, which uh, one of them has stitching. This one. I'm sure this one has as well. Yeah, that's got a bit of stitching on as well. So that looks quite nice. The colour is quite different, but that's fine. It's quite fine. It's got a bit of sari silk. It's also got a bit of metallic on it. So I would recommend you going along to PM Artist Studio and watching their video and they'll have a playlist on all the Going For Gold people. It'll go up tonight. It's, usually it's in um, late evening for me. Well, late ish mid-evening for me, really. So I probably will watch one or two and then switch to watching the rest in the um, in the morning, perhaps, tomorrow. All right. I want the words make time for creativity on here somehow. I think I want some of that red elsewhere. It's a nice deep red, so it's a bit of magenta with a bit of black, I think, would do the trick for that. We don't need a lot. What shall I do? Oh, we'll have the Triskelis. Yes, we'll have these. Where should we put them? Mm -hmm. Let's have one or two dotted about here and there. Subtle. <laughs> but I do like them. Let's have a bigger one up here. I guess it might be nice to... Um, make a stencil of just one or two of these that I can use. I've actually been printing, well, I've done it on the bee, look, Ugh, never mind. I've actually been printing off some of these, uh, cutting some of these on my machine to send to people. And the bits, I've saved all the bits because they'll be great fun to use on a jelly plate, I do believe. How am I going to get the words make time for creativity down? It takes me too long to write it out. Well, it's a little bit bonkers, this page, but hey-ho, suits my mood. <laughs> All right, see a flush of gold? Yay, love it. What was I going to do with the words? I think, I think I might print them out. So I'm going to come back with them printed. Okay, so I've printed out. What I do is uh, I put a piece of printer paper down and I just glue the top from an old book a page from the old book, just glued it along top, then I put it through my printer. And what I'm going to do is, rather than having the text on the page, I'm going to use this tag, and I'm going to put the text on the back of the tag. It will fit just about. So I'm just going to trim that, use the trimmer. It's like, I, I can't cut a straight line for the life of me. I draw a straight line, but I cannot cut one. I struggle with this as well. Do you know, it is important to make time for creativity. It is if you're a creative person and that, that's your identity and that's where your strengths lie. Um, if you don't have time to do that, it can get you down. It gets me down if I don't have time to do it. Okay, I might have to trim some corners. There we go. 
and a glue stick. I don't know about creativity, I think I just need rest at the moment. <laughs> anyway, that's good. I don't know how I'm going to attach it. I almost wish I hadn't put it there. If I can go through the holes. Hmm. Hmm, gotta take that off. Shall I try? So when you start down with PVA, you start down with PVA. Here we go, let's take that off. Okay, we'll put that there instead. Yes, I prefer that anyway. Right, I'll just use glue stick for that. Hmm, no, I don't want to glue it down, do I? There we go, that's gonna be great. I love these tiny little paper clips, they're so cute. There. Oh, I've done it. Well, hey, that was so quick. <laughs> but it's just what I needed. I needed a bit of time just for a bit of art journaling. And that's what I was feeling today is I needed to spend some time getting some creativity down. So I didn't use the words. I do love the words on this one. Your walls will not meet your needs. I love that one. And that, that was found text. And I do love the spiral, I would have loved to have used him. I'm definitely going to do some special stencils, two-phase two stencils, two stages. And I did mostly lean on this one. I used, I lent on this one a lot for the colour. Um, with a touch of this colour. And then the words, make time for creativity. So all three cards fed into this one this week. Well, that was a fun project. I enjoyed doing this page. It is a little bit, mm, a little bit crazy, I think, but never mind, it's okay. I needed to art journal. and I needed to have a little bit of creativity. <laughs> uh, if you liked this video, please click the like button. And if you're new here, please subscribe. I have lots of videos. In fact, if you look back through my library, I have over 300 now, which is amazing. Um, most are art journal based, but there are some other odd ones as well. <laughs> when I say odd, I mean odd. No, not really. <laughs> They're quite nice. Um, yes, and if you would like to support this channel, I need some new camera equipment. I need some new lighting equipment. Um, I have a Patreon to help with that. And thank you very much to my existing patrons. I wouldn't be able to do this without you. Um, Wednesday I've got an interesting video coming up I hope it works out it's going to be about how to make um, I'm not going to tell you it's a surprise <laughs> anyway thanks very much for watching this video bye